Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Wickwa Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Banker's Draft. Described as a pale and malty beer with a citrus kick. There you go. 4% ABV. Nice looking label, black cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice smoky opening. You can see the beer in the glass from the beer in the bottle. Golden coloured ale, producing a nice tight two finger, slightly off white head. Carbonation is quite lively on this one. To look at the beer looks very pretty. It's a very bright beer, nice dancing carbonation, as I said, two finger of tight, slightly off white head. Golden amber in the colour, let's get the aroma. And in the aroma, unfortunately with that clear glass and the citrus kick they're talking about is obviously quite a bit of added hops. If they want a citrus kick they're going to have to ha add quite a lot of hops. And unfortunately hops spoil in clear glass, it gets light struck and unfortunately it's not crazily bad, it's not like some of the I've had a lot worse, but it, there's a slight skunky aroma. It's like a tinny skunkiness in the beer. Other than that, it smells nice and malty. It's just a shame they chose to put it in clear glass. Let's dive in. Cheers. In the taste, fair play to the beer. That skunkiness isn't very prominent at all. It leaves a nice biscuity middle, nice biscuity finish. That citrus kick that they talk about, again, is, for me, it's quite very late it's just hitting me now on the back of the palate it's a nice kind of ramping bitterness it's a it's a pretty decent beer in all honesty it's light it's refreshing it's biscuity it's got a nice middle to the beer it's hoppy on the back end. Yeah, 4% ABV, you could drink this all afternoon. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the review, the trouble is the aroma let it down a little bit. And it, do you know, and it gets on my wick that you go to, I, I've just come back from Poland, brewing in Poland, all of their beers, dark brown glass, most American beers, dark brown glass, Italian, dark brown, brown glass. Everybody seems to know their stuff. Everybody seems to know that this skunking issue um, is about, and it's a problem. But yet we have such a great brewing tradition here in the UK. We've been brewing for hundreds and hundreds of years. And, and, and we're the only country that is so prominent in putting beer in clear glass. There are so many companies out there that do it. And I just find it strange. I find it almost naive 
it's a naivety. Perhaps we've been led so down, so far down the, the garden path by these big lager companies with their green and clear glass that we think it's okay to put our ale in, in clear and green glass because we want to try and compete with these companies. We want to try and take sales off them. But I'll tell you now, this will not take sales from the big companies putting beer in clear glass. It's a very, very nice taste in beer. I've, I've said that. But put it in brown glass. Wick wall. Come on. At this stage of the review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. They're the largest online beer store. They sell beer from most, the, most countries around the world. The great brewing countries of America, Belgium, Germany, France, the UK. If there's a beer you want, Beers of Europe, nine times out of ten, they've got it, especially if you're in the UK. Italian beer also. Check them out, beersofeurope.co.uk. I'm going to rate this beer now. And, oh, I'm frustrated. I'm really, really frustrated by this one because it's got a lovely taste. It's got a lovely taste, but it's just let down by this aroma. Ah, it's let down by the aroma. It's... I, I, well, I can't say anymore. I've said enough about clear glass. You get the drift. Um, look, American beer. Bone glass! I'm going to give this... Do you know if it was in brown glass and it wasn't skunked, I'd probably give this an 8 out of 10. It's a very decent beer. But because it's, it's skunked and the aroma is the first thing you've got... You look at the beer first, then you smell the beer. And... It's just not right. So, I'm going to give this beer a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.